In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Laravel and ChatGPT. I'm building an automated AI blog posting tool, and I want to give it a prompt where I say, write me an article about this, this, and this, and I want some headings. And uh, instead of it returning strings, I want it to return an array. So I've got an example here. So if I, I've got, what I had before set up here. So basically I'm using um, this OpenAI library. So it's this one here. And I, I don't know how to pronounce the guy's name, but he's got some really good uh, packages. But basically to get ChatGPT working in Laravel, you just do this composer require, uh, publish the config, and then literally just put your open AI API key in there and then this is just a, an example snippet of what we want back so you can see here um, I've just done a, a simple Laravel command uh, I've just put post bad because this is my example of showing you how I was doing it before and then I've got another command to, sh to show you how to do it better, better way so basically it takes an argument of a prompt and I've just asked ChatGPT give me five section headings to talk about when writing an article about and then it gives it the prompt so then it just uses that same code as, as in that uh, example from the package and then outputs what it gives us back so if I just run that one to start with uh, beginner tips for motorcycle riding you can see it's given me a list but it's got the numbers in there and it's all part of one string so if I want to loop through each of these it's really hard and if you do things with uh, chat GPT in Laravel or any type of coding you realize that this is quite uh, quite a big problem because you can't actually loop through this data easily and you'll run it again and it might give you it in different uh, in a different format so that, that's given it as the same format, but sometimes it'll not have the numbers, so you can't even do it by that. Sometimes it's not got the new line on the end. So a way that I've got around this is to just um, do it a slightly different way. So if you look at my new command, I've said give me five section headings to talk about when writing an article about whatever uh, return them in a CSV format including only the headings and nothing else I just want a comma separated list of the headings no numbers and most of the time this will give you a nice response so if I run this one so you can see that it's given me a nice array so basically all I'm doing is it's giving me a comma separated list so it's just literally commas separate in the, art, uh, the array items in a string and then I'm converting this using this uh, string get CSV function built into PHP and then just as an extra bit of cleaning up I've converted it to a, a Laravel collection and then mapped it so that each item I can go through and edit it slightly and this trim function it just gets rid of any white space at the start or end because sometimes you get some white spaces at the start or end of the strings for some reason I'm not sure why but you can see there that you could loop through this now and maybe ask it to create sections for each one of those um, so instead of doing everything in one big command you can just split it loop through each of these and then ask chat gpt to write paragraph maybe three or four paragraphs on each of these items so that's my next step to doing the automated blog um, so yeah just thought i'd make this quick video just to explain that uh, i've still got my crypto trading bot running in the background uh, i'm going to do another video on that soon so if you want to see the results of that stick around and subscribe 
but yeah, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll try and do a few more little tips like this as I discover them. But yeah, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.